The card is believed to have been owned by former NFL lineman and card collector, investor Evan Mathis, according to Sports Collectors Daily. Brady's card eclipsed the then record-setting $350,100 fetched for a 1996 97 Michael Jordan card just last week. Loading meanwhile, an auction featuring four of Hall of Fame center Kareem Abdul Jabbar's NBA championship rings is running throughout this week. The league's all time leading scorer is auctioning rings he won with the Los Angeles Lakers in 1980, 1985, 1987, and 1988, plus other game used in autograph memorabilia from his legendary career. Abdul Jabbar, 71, wrote on his website earlier this month that much of the proceeds will benefit his Skyhook Foundation, a charity that helps kids learn about science, technology, engineering and maths, when it comes to choosing between storing a championship ring or trophy in a room, or providing kids with an opportunity to change their lives, the choice is pretty simple. sell it all, Abdul Jabbar wrote, looking back on what I have done with my life, instead of gazing at the sparkle of jewels or gold plating celebrating something I did a long time ago, I'd rather look into the delighted face of a child holding their first caterpillar and think about what I might be doing for their future, that's a history that has no price. The auction is being conducted by Golden Auctions and as of Wednesday morning, the bidding on his ring from the 1985 NBA Championship was up to $85,000, while bidding on a signed basketball from his final NBA game in 1989 was up to $75,000. A six-time NBA champion and six-time most valuable player, Abdul Jabbar was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1995, Reuter Super Bomber New England Patriots Tom Brady.